Hello, hello, welcome. As you can see, we're playing a different game, which is now we are up, up to, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is King of Fighters 2002 Unlimited Match. Now, this does have a dis different roster than 98, um, you know, Unlimited Match. Basically, as I explained in the 98 video, this is, you know, the Nest Saga version of 2002. So, I'm going to pull up the uh, intro so you can get an idea of what's going on. It does, however, have some characters from the Orochi Saga, which is the previous arc, as well as, you know, special ones entirely. The Kingdom Fighters 2002 Unlimited Match. So, unlike 98, there is no Neo Geo mode. Which means this is the, the only version, only one you can actually play in terms of uh, on Steam, as far as I know. Unlike 98, where you can play the original Neo Geo version too. So, I'm going to pull up the packaging so we can look at the roster. Now, as for, as for King of Fighters and the Eight, they are separated into teams, but not quite listed as uh, you know, individual teams like the like the Warrior there. And like Ninety Eight, you can select some alternate versions. Let me see if I can find one. Portrait will actually update the to show an uh, alternate version. Like here, we have Geese and Nightmare Geese as the alternate. And with here we have the, the new faces team. What's what's their alternates? And they and see here they all have all new portraits. Now something else to note is they also have new music. So I think only uh, I think only Geese will reuse previous music as well as maybe well no I, he's got new music too but Geese does reuse one track and I think I'm actually sure not, not to think about it, I think that Geese remix version for this. I'm not sure which version of Takuma this is. Let me see if I can look it up. Unfortunately, when you tab out in this one, it will kill the sound. So let's see. It doesn't say. I don't actually see here, unfortunately. Hmm. Let's see, Art of Fighting. Oh, okay. I'm looking at the wrong thing. So. Uh, hold on, just a second. Okay, so it's normal and night. Okay, it's a normal version for Takuma, as well as the night. It's ninety nine two thousand one classic version. Okay, so let's see. Now this is that this the alternate version of C Kinso here is. Is a 2000 version with a list of psychic powers. This is a, uh, okay. I, I need to explain where some of these guys came from. Bao here is part of it was originally appeared in the 99 version of King of Fighters as part of the Psychic Soldier. Whip originally appeared with the Ikari team in, in 99. A lot of these are mainstays from the previous uh, or Ocean Saga as well. Maybe, I think if we she first appeared in 2000, same with Hinako, maybe 2001. This is the clone Kyo from 2009, as are these guys. A lot of the big, a lot of the, lot of the uh, big demon uh, Nest Saga was they were using clones of Kyo to take over the world. Yeah, I know it's fucking weird. Oops, there we go. Yeah, we have Sumi returning from 98. 
Now, if I remember correctly, these were 2000 characters. Maybe 99. We have Kula, who is originally first appeared in, in 99. As the, oh, no, actually, she appeared in 2000 as a mid boss. But she's meant to be the anti K. When, where was K? I'm trying to forget where he was. He's running this somewhere. He's booked anyway. Oh, it's all the way over here. So K is a, another clone of Keo, but he's also meant to be the uh, he was meant to be the main lead of the uh, Nest saga, as he represented the hero team in '99 and, and onwards, when Keo and Iori were kind of uh, on the sidelines. And we have Ethna who does change her outfit, like I said in the 98 video. Every single game. Now, so I gotta talk about Vanessa here. If you wonder why she looks familiar, it's because Giovanna from Guilty Gear Strive is based on her. And Vanessa originally appeared in 99. She's meant, she is. One of the few female boxing characters in the, in the series. I think she actually might be one of the few boxing characters, period. But she is, you know, she does, you know, Giovanna is a lot like her, in, 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 based on her, so. And, you know, this is an ultimate match, so, there, you know, there is no storyline. But a lot of characters here. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I, I'll, before we start... And we're we'll talking about the bosses. This is Chrysalid. He's the boss of 99. Clone Zero here is the boss of 2000. Zero was a sub boss in 2001, and Ignis here was the final boss of 2001. He was also incredibly difficult. And we have Omega Rugo here, who is the boss of 2002, That's like, just like with 98. Alright, so I'm going to show you. So, I'm talking about a few minutes ago with the, the uh, update music. As you see, new track entirely. I'll show off a couple of these. You know, you know there's a lot more desperation, is, uh, super desperation moves, as well as hidden ones. Now, the hidden ones are kind of are difficult to pull off because they require different conditions depending on the character. I am, I've been practicing a little bit with these, but I'm still pretty terrible. So, let's see, we're going to try to show off the end of Eden. Whoops. There we go. Hmm. Okay, that's not quite what I was thinking. Not even, let's see. There we go. Now, apparently, Chrysler the original was very, very good as a pick in the original 2002. He's probably been bouncing just a lot. Now, let's see. Now, some, there are actually some Easter eggs in the 2002 game. Mostly with, uh, with regards to Leona, Orochi, Chris. You know, Oshkiss, Chris, and uh, Iori. Now, where is Iori? Oh, there he is. He's up here. <laughs> so, Iori's. You know, max super death, you know, desperation move can change drastically depending on what you're doing. You now, let's see, if I do it correctly, watch, we'll see. There we go! So he can, he, you know, during his uh, max SDM, he, he goes wild, activates wild Iori in order to do extra damage. Let's see, what was it? Let's 
Oopsie. It'd be actually be kind of hard to pull some of these off because it requires the double, uh, the double punch, punch button or double kick, depending on which one you're trying to do. Okay, I may just have to try a different character instead now. Leonis is incredibly hard to pull off because she she actually has a different version of a wild state. So this is gonna be looking weird. I'm gonna try to do it, but it's a real pain in the ass to pull this off. Okay, so in order to actually get her hidden desperation move, which is as you can see, it's called you know, it's a different version of Revolver Spark. Such a real pain in the ass because I was trying it out in practice mode while setting up and I found it's incredibly finicky. So you're going to see some weird shit until I get this right. I am honestly not sure what I'm doing wrong on it, but I will try to show it. So, I basically had to keep trying it until it activated randomly. Okay, so that's the normal one. I don't even know how I did that. So this could take a few minutes. Also, I think she actually has a new run animation. I'm not sure. It looks different from her usual one. Now, as I said in the 98 you know, video, you know, SK style is incredibly consistent on its sprites. It doesn't, they did not often be, uh, Rechar yeah, redraw them. Especially it, it will, even across the generations. The thing is only until the uh, Ash saga where they started redoing drawing you know, big time. Hmm. So do, I don't know what let me see, I think you have to use the command uh, thing in order to do it. I'm not sure. Whoa. Now, I wonder how this actually works. I'm not sure what that actually does. So I'm not sure what this thing does. But it's actually, you know, practice mode is pretty useful for learning some of these mechanics. So I really hope I can get this to work for now. Take a look at this command again. I remember, this is a, fu a function of, you know, 98, but I don't really understand, unfortunately. Hmm. At least I'm getting faster at putting it in. But this is a very strange way to do it, unfortunately. 
May need to be maximum. Okay, I'm hitting the direction. It looks like going by there. I'm hitting the diagonals. I'm not trying to. Using a D-pad instead of the, the uh, analog stick, and it's making it worse with the analog stick. May I may just have to give up because I'm not actually really sure. Why so it really seems really hard to do this? I feel like it shouldn't be hard. It actually is. You get in there. You get you know, you got to provoke the taunt button. Hey. 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 It sounds like she actually has a different voice actor in this one. Okay, so unfortunately I don't think I can get this right. Cause it seems a incredible pain in the ass, I don't know why. And I've only managed to get it once or twice ever. It's more like the World Combat where you could have used the um, block button to you know, stop it from you know doing that. It wouldn't be so bad, I think. Is there even a block button in the KFC? I remember the one. Let me look. Alright, wait, wait, I'm in the wrong spot. Remember correctly? Oh! Oh, oh, so this is the command button, isn't it? Okay, so I think we can use the command button in order to make it more reliable. Let's see. Well, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so if I understood this correctly, this should be what do exactly what I think it is. Oh, wait. Okay, so I guess not. Hmm. Hey! What's this again?
what the hell if I catch you in a skin with, with this art of mint, you know? I don't know what the S means. Oh, I bet you mean, I bet it's like a combo there. It was just two at once. All right, let's try this out. <laughs> so that's how that works. I thought so. All right, that's much easier now. Now I can actually show this. All right, so this is yo. Know, now she can actually activate this at will, but she loses a lot of hit points in the process, and it allows her to do special stuff. Now let me think. Uh, it, you know, story-wise, it's implied this is because she has more control over when Orochi, when, when Rabbit Orochi is sealed. So... Okay, now, we got the Awakening active, let's see. Alright. Wait, what, what's the... oh. And see, she has her old, 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 your, old, her animations from '98, well '97 technically. However, she keeps her old one, meaning she does have more control over it. So the right of the blood characters do reappear; they just have different versions of them as opposed to the original. Oh wait, I'm trying to get out of this. Oh, before we move on, I wanted to show one of the special intros. Let's see. I think this is the one that's the, one, the funniest interaction between Andy and Mai. <laughs> That's easily the funniest fucking admission she's got with you know, you know, for intro. Anyway, since we got that done, now we now I understand how the command stuff works, and that does it does make it a lot easier to pull off certain ones. Anyway, we'll be doing a couple of clears. Now let's see. Honestly, I'm not sure which one because there's a lot of you know, quality picks in this one. And we got, uh, I already got it set up, set up like the 98 where it's got, you know, maxed out partner and just, there's just more to, you know, an exhibition to show it off right in the, you know, you know, it's a casual thing, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, oh crap. Gosh. Yeah, it's wrong. Don't make put your girl dime on in. Let's see. So he does have a lot of the ones he had in 98, but he does have a new one. As far as I know, that God's Desk thing is new. And 
and it looks like his desperation move is uh, heavily modified. Also, what the hell is that guy next to the boat? It looks like Pantheon. Now know where at least now we know where I got the idea from. Yeah, I don't think I don't know if there's any special uh, requirements to see some of the bosses, but possibly. Not right. Oh, it's back. Okay. Okay. Oh, block. Hey, also, before I forget, I did look into it more, and yes, Pinimaro was inspired by Ponoref. Ponoref would also go in later, later to inspire Guile, so... Go figure. There I was making Ponoref jokes, and he actually was inspired by Ponoref. Alright, so we got the Ikari Warriors team. <laughs> so just stand out, I guess. <laughs> Damn, Lord's strong. Huh? I, I'm not sure if it's you know, an effect of how strong you know that super desperation movie is, or you know how whether or not it's a difficult to set. It's hard to tell. Also, I'm pretty sure this is a remix of their night of the Chaos 914 for the Brazil team. Yeah, which was called Jungle Bouncer. 
<laughs> no, it works, it works. I get the feeling that if it's working like uh, 98 did, we will need to be doing a lot of super desperation moves. So they spam it so they're gone. I wonder if we cannot, I don't think we can adjust the command while inside a match. I don't know what's happening. button for Okay, so it's a punch one. Huh. It's gonna get made in that I'm gonna get it again. Okay, so it's back. Is that with mine? About time that shit started working in my favor. Well, yeah, I could pull that off in Mortal Kombat. Looking like another Taekwondo fighter. <laughs> Your just does not give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Got him! Got you that time! There we go. Looks like you've got the master skin again. Can we just fight on each of those? Round one. Fight. <laughs> Let's go budget bison. <laughs> oh, he's kind of shit. He's kind of wrecking my shit here. <laughs> Drunken An attack on something. Whoa. So I mirror it was just yo know, we I forgot what the, it's called when, it, when they do the little anime cutscene like that. You know, cutscene attack. There's supposed to be something really important about that for getting the se secret bosses or something. I honestly don't remember a damn thing about it. So, it looks like you got a hidden boss here. Let's see who it is. I can't tell yet. Oh, it looks like it's cooler. Hold on, select. And it's the original cooler too, not the one we got, you know, we were looking at any, uh, select. And this is a remix of her, um, Chasm theme, but she was originally a first year. Round one, fight! <laughs> 
So her power, so she's ice themed as her you know, name indicates. You know, she's meant to be an opposite to Kate, you know, who is fire themed. Uh, somebody had a comment about it that in a lot of these um, backgrounds you're going to see a lot of cameos from, from SNK titles as well as other previous Chaos games. I think in one of the fan ones you see Chuzu from the Ocean Saga, who does not appear to be you know, a trouble, you know, playable character. Here. Also, I meant to comment about Hanako there. She is, I guess in some ways, meant to be some kind of a thematic com combination of um, Rainbow Mika and Sakura. I don't actually know anything about her story, but you know, you know, you know, you know, look at it and I think Mika and Sakura. Her, her uh, sprite change on the shade? She's gonna look golden for a moment there. Okay, so final stage. I think it's always God Rubble. I mean, sorry, not, I don't know why I said Garu, I meant to say Omega. In 2002, it's supposed to always be Omega, I think. Place for a judgment, okay. Zero, okay. I'm going to have to look up Hold what the uh, criteria is to get a different boss. So you're supposed to get Omega Rubo normally. Just so long as the pages are on you remember. So we got Zero, who was originally a sub boss of 2001.
せいぜい私を楽しませてくれラウンドワンファイトはっうわっうわバッサマあどうしたバッサマあんなもんださあよしはっはっはっはっはっはっはっおっ、ガッチ、手を持ってやるぞ、どんなこと。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、そう。You're always kind of a bitch slapper. He will bitch slap you just to suspect him, I guess. He wasn't this good in 2001, so that's confusing. We could be cheap too. We're not impressed. Okay, so. A lot better now. He beat the shit out of us. Alright, so yeah. Conquered. Try next month. Good luck, the King of Fighters. Order select. What the fuck was that? Okay, so that was a cheap win. Oh, hey, achievement. Game over. Hmm. So no special uh, pop up like uh, you know ninety eight. Okay. Let's see what that Shima was. Oh, okay. So Shima is a champion in Team Fight Defeat Chrysalid Clone Zero Zero or Ignis. Okay, so I guess it's kind of random. The King of Fighters. Now, I think if you pick one of your nest bosses, it will force the game not to allow 
you know, have them as the final boss. Oh, the There's ever a fuck you, yo, beatdown. That was it. Light, lightly smack her. What is that jump animation? Like he's trying to do a you know, a kick flip in the air. Look at that! What the hell is that? Check out Krauser in the back. Oh, okay, I got a comment about this guy. Okay, okay, so this stage has a lot of characters from the Garo. I think it's, I don't know how it's pronounced. I think it's either Garo or Guru. I'm not sure. I've always read it's Guru for some reason. But this actually has cameos from Guru, which was to um, King of Fighters, what Street Fighter 3 was to Street Fighter, to put it one way. Get better look. All right. So, dude in the suit is Pain, who is the final boss of Mark of the Wolves. We got next, next to Krauser. We have another character from Mark of the Wolves called Streaming. And I think over here we have Kizok. Yeah, that looks a lot like Kizok, who was also Mark of the Wolves. He later became a character in the main KO series. I think in 13.
second round three. What the oh, hell is he just? Ch yeah, I hit the invade with broken space on that one. Like, what was that? I'm so confused. There's a lot of but there's a TG. What you do? Me over there. That she is that she actually reappears in 2003 as a playable character, as the 2003 is a, a continuation of the Ocean Saga. In, the, in that, uh, okay, remember correctly, 2003, 11, and 12 were uh, you know attempts to continue the, the Ocean Saga in the sense that the, the main antagonists were trying to unkill Roshi again. Series starting with uh, Jeff, not too many, but uh, 13 starts a new series, the you know, new uh, saga entirely. I'm not sure I'm much of stuff because we are going to do King Fighter 13 you know, and next after this. So I'll be able to better check the you know, breakdown of which uh, you know, which games pertain to which saga better. Okay, we got the Master Scheme again. Never mind. 
<laughs> I think you have to have speed uh, to cut in max in order to do it. Let me try why I wasn't going off the floor. We'll try, uh, yeah, I'll be able to check, check that again in a moment. <laughs> Guess not. Whoa. Right. Okay, so maybe you do need to be a max. I'm not sure, honestly. Seems kind of inconsistent. Whoa! Um, that was a combo. Is that like a crazy JoJo pose? Winner. Okay, so who we got this time? Oh, we got Nameless. I think you actually get an achievement for beating him. I've never seen something about him in there. シシクメの落とし子今ここに力を示せ真実へとつながる道立ち塞がるものうん場所は全て排除するラウンドワンファイトよしよし逃がす よし。打ち。セラル。打ち。逃がす。勝負。え、ウィザー。打ち。シーキャッチ。ウェイティングエクセスオンワンアウト。ま、ワイドインマックス。ウィザーズ。エクセレント。ま、や。オーダーストライク
Oh, real about Fatal Fury Special that was PlayStation only and only in Japan. So it was never released outside of Japan. So unless you would, unless you had someone told you about him, you would not know that was actually a, a, a boss character from a previous Fatal Fury game. It's one of those rare instances in this where you will find characters in you know cameos like that from you know games that did not make a make a you know Western release. So yeah, it was ninety eight when that came out. Yeah. Chrysalid and his lion, okay. Wonder what CW means. I don't actually understand what the hell that is. Some of these I don't understand. Fucking around. I'm getting tortured here. I don't believe that. Yeah, well. Alright, let's get his list. So he's pretty much got the same abilities as the original Zero, except for no striker one. What the hell did I just do? That was pretty fucking cool. I have no idea what I just did. Oh, it's a desperation move. That's a really pimp move, you know? <laughs> what was that? He literally just fucking farted on him or something. Oh, 
Okay, well, let's see. Gonna keep combo that we're shadow dash into the super desperation. That's kind of scary, honestly. Holy shit! Tommy's a badass. Get zero again. Do Kimo Bunza round one. I guess I was wrong about it not forcing, you know, you know, that's oh, sorry. I guess I was wrong about it forcing me to show not having the zero or the next boss is a battle. Fuck. Oh! There we go, we got Rugo after all. I was not expecting that. Oh man, look at that, he's got a pimp outfit looking like Dracula over there. Oh, she take like no damage. Even some cheese spamming here will take a, take a while to bring him down. Holy fuck! Ooh, that was close. You almost got in, another one in on me. Winner. 
And another achievement, cool. So you get a little cutscene now, being an Omega Ruble. But you know, as I said, 98, there is no actual story mode. Oh, so there is a little cutscene bonus. Cool. I guess we didn't get something for uh, the other one because it wasn't, you know, when the start wasn't Hero Team. Probably should have been, though. Game over. So let me look up the uh, other achievements. Cause, you know, I'll try to get a couple more of these in this, in, in this uh, you know, showcase. Let's see. Okay, some of these are for the uh, challenge bonus mode, okay. As well as doing special um, moves. So let's see, one is getting Galactica Vanguard using Ralph. I'm not sh Let's see, you, you, it says you can do it in practice mode. I don't, don't think we're actually seriously played Ralph. Okay, so let's see. Oh, wow, this is gonna be a tough one, huh? Walk animation. Like you're about to go, beat, you know, beat down, you know, break down the door to a fast food joint, yelling at somebody, not exercising. Did that kid, well, was, that, was that it? I don't actually know. Oh, so that's Galactic the Phantom. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so... 
will be one of the really annoying ones to do. Actually, I wonder if you could use the command button to get past this. Okay, so I didn't need. What I'm gonna do is actually screenshot this so I can make it more easily seen for me. All right. Whoops. All right, so. Alright, so I think I almost got it right. Okay, I guess that didn't work. Unless it wasn't quite lined up the way it should be. Okay, let me look. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not sure. Holy shit! What the hell did I just do? Sorry, you wreck up, be damn.
It's kind of hard to pull this one off, I think. You seem so stubborn on whether or not what's going to be a you know, four circle back and half circle forward. I just can't seem to get it to work the way I want it to. No, I think the command's gonna work. The you know, command trick like, will work like a did with Leona. Can't seem to figure out why it doesn't want to go through. I feel like it should go through though. God, it's just a it, man spam. Interesting. W
Okay, it's definitely something it was doing a move before, now it's not. Honestly, I don't know if I can actually get this, because it seems like it's really consistent on what I actually want to go through. Yeah, yeah, I think I don't think I can get this. It's unfortunate, though. Let me look at the other achievements. So I'll take a quick look at the challenge. Hmm. So I guess these are useful for teaching the uh, mechanics. And I don't know if it actually tells you how to do these or not. Hmm. Let's see. Boss character for a theater, huh? Interesting. Of duties because I have no idea what it meant by quick max because it doesn't seem that seem to actually explain what these things are. Let's see, guys. Okay, looking for a seed. Doesn't seem like there's one on Steam, oddly enough. So we may just have to pass on these challenges because I don't really understand how to do some of these mechanics. It doesn't doesn't really explain it at all. Seems like something you would you would have to be a veteran of the series to actually understand. So, uh, we'll just pass on those. 
That's pretty much it for 2002. It's, it's actually pretty fun, especially considering it's got, you know, so many NES saga characters and all that. And we'll see you next time for King of Fires 13. Thanks for watching.